we're here at the LG stand for CES 2017 and I'm joined by Rob Taylor to talk about their new lineup. So Rob, let's start with the big news. What's happening with OLED? Well, there's lots going on with OLED TV and expanded lineup this year. So this year we introduced our fifth series of OLED, which is a W series OLED, which is actually our wallpaper OLED concept TV. This is going to be launching in April this year. It's going to be available 77 inch and 65 inch. And I think the major thing about it is the design. It's hugely, hugely innovative. It's a pure OLED panel which gets clipped and hanged to the wall and it has a separate box or a separate media box if you like which has all of the inputs, also combines Dolby Atmos sound and it also has all of the nice sort of like features that you'd expect with a TV but with a really really premium innovative design which we've not seen in the industry before so that's our, our main main news here at CES so we're expecting loads of positive things about that. But other than that we have an extended lineup as I say so we have four other series of, of OLED TV so a real big lineup at 55 inch all the way to 77 inch again. So we're really, really pleased to be bringing to market another compelling lineup this year. Can you just uh, run through the actual lineup of OLED TVs from the bottom to the top and explain how they differ from each other? Sure. So our B7 series OLED is the starting point. Again, 65 and 55 inch. From the B7, it moves up to the C7. From the C7 to the E7. And from the E, we move to the G, which is historically where we've had our signature lineup. And then this year, we introduce the, seven, the W7 as well. Now, as I mentioned, when it comes to OLED, actually, this year, the major difference between all the lineups is the design. So the W Series OLED is really, really impressive, that wallpaper type thin product. Our G Series product features the folding base stand like we had in 2016. Our E Series model has a picture on glass concept with the front firing soundbar. Again, a little bit of a similar design to what we had in 2016 with our E6 model. And our C7 and our B7 are kind of more of our traditional TV designs for OLED TV. So actually when it comes to OLED, the major difference is the design. Now, when it comes to picture quality, one of the great things is you can do so much more with OLED. We know that already. It's, it's, it's already been well renowned for producing you know, high quality, best image pictures going. Now the picture quality through all the OLEDs this year is virtually the same, which is great. So all of the TVs feature you know, the same level of HDR support, the same level of brightness, also have the same level of you know, audio support, which is our new premium partnership with Dolby Atmos now. So when it comes to the actual TVs, within OLED, you're actually getting pretty much a, a fair, run of the, fair run of all of the features. So we're quite pleased to bring a, an improved lineup throughout the range. You mentioned HDR. So what HDR support will there be on the new OLED lineup? Well, that's one of the big pieces of news from CES this year. I think HDR, as we know, is kind of a, a real big discussion topic for, for the industry. And, and as it is with, with all new technologies, there are many different formats and versions. Now, for us at LG, we've always had a really open approach to supporting HDR. We've always wanted to champion HDR, particularly on OLED, because you know, high dynamic range just looks stunning on OLED TV. So for this year, in 2017, we're launching not one, not two, but actually four different formats of, of HDR. So in 2016, we supported HDR10 or HDR PQ or HDR standard, as it's known in the industry, as well as Dolby Vision. This year, we add in hybrid log gamma, HLG, out of the box, and also Technicolor. So advanced HDR by Technicolor is a, another new announcement that we made here today. You mentioned HLG, will you be upgrading last year's OLED models as well? So it's most likely for 2016 all of our OLEDs will be upgraded as well. That will be a, a firmware update, a software update that will happen at some point in the year. And we'll share much more information as and when we kind of uh, fix the plan on that one. But our intention is definitely to support HDR and HLG for, for our existing line in 2016. In terms of peak brightness, how does this year's generation differ from last year's generation? Yeah, I mean, when you see the TVs, you'll actually notice the actual TVs are actually brighter. I mean, on an overall basis, they're brighter. In today's press conference, we were talking about actually how the OLED TVs can be actually up to 25% brighter. But actually, when you look at some of the TVs and, and look at how the peak brightness has improved, when you isolate it in vivid setting, etc., we can see, you know, deliver a thousand nit peak brightness on, on OLED TV this year. So overall picture brightness has improved and then also peak brightness has improved. Along with um, Dolby Atmos, you've also got Dolby Vision, of course. Um, how important is Dolby to you as a partner? Yeah, very, very important. Um, we have partnerships with Dolby that go through the lineup, as I say. So it's not just on TV. So last year in 2016, we kind of launched Dolby Vision. It's a really big, important announcement for us, and it still continues to be. But this year, we actually top up our support from Dolby and not only have Dolby Vision HDR, but also Dolby Atmos Audio. So we're the first people to really introduce Dolby Atmos into the TV world. So whereas previously, if you wanted Dolby Atmos in the home, you'd have a, a soundbar setup or you know a home cinema setup. 
this year we can deliver Dolby Atmos directly from the TV. So hugely, hugely important news for us. Um, and the, the benefits of Dolby Atmos in the TV are, are, are outstanding. I mean, the crystal clarity, the actual object-based audio, the ability to hear things across the screen as you're seeing them, the way that you experience the actual content or the, the movies in your home, etc., in the living room is completely changed now because we're delivering you know, the most cinematic picture, but also now the most cinematic audio to complement. So, you know, it's, it's a real important announcement. Um, Dolby Atmos is not just restricted to TV, although it is present in all of our OLED TV. We also have a Dolby Atmos soundbar, and that's called our SJ9, which we'll be launching in March. That delivers a, a 5.1.2 channel setup, and it delivers, again, full-blown immersive object-based audio. So we have a Dolby Atmos soundbar, Dolby Atmos within the TV, Dolby Vision within the TV, and another announcement that we made was we have an Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray player also supporting Dolby HDR, so Dolby Vision is also available. So we have almost like a, a full end-to-end -end solution of Dolby Vision products and Dolby HDR Atmos, uh, Dolby Atmos products. So yeah, it's a really important announcement for us and Dolby continues to be a good partner for us. Of course, we'll just talk about uh, OLED. It's easy to forget that you also make other televisions, of course. Um, so what's happening with the SUHD lineup this year? Uh, Super UHD is improved again. So we'll have about four lineups in our Super UHD range in the UK. Uh, they'll be launching again from about March, and we have screen sizes that go from 49 inch all the way to 65 inch. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a great addition to the lineup. I mean, OLED has been recognized as kind of the pinnacle of TV viewing, but with Super UHD, actually, we're improving drastically how we deliver LED and LCD picture quality as well. So one of the big announcements with our Super UHD lineup is the fact that we now have a new panel technology or a new, new improved panel technology with our IPS panels. Um, which is called NanoCell Display, which basically allows us to give you know, the great colour um, performance and the great vivid colour performance that we're used to seeing from a, a front angle, but also delivering you know, greatly, hugely improved colour accuracy at wide angles too. So Super UHD and NanoCell Display and NanoCell Technology are going to really help us move and improve our, our LED range and our LCD lineup this year. Another area where LG have been a trendsetter is in terms of smart TV. Uh, what changes are being made this year to WebOS? WebOS has been a, a great a great asset to our, our TV lineup for the last four years. It's a huge, huge improvement on sort of how traditional smart TV worked, I think. Um, you know, with the introduction of the Magic Remote to change the way the user experience works, etc. I think was, again, a massive innovation. So our, our kind of our, our ethos is not really to change things that aren't broken, it's just to merely improve them. Again, with OLED display, you've seen that year on year. Super UHD TV, you've seen that year on year. And WebOS is the same concept. So we have an improved WebOS 3.5 concept this year, which improves some new features. So we have uh, additional features to the TV, but it still retains all of its core values and the thing, that, all, the, all the aspects that make it truly great. So yeah, we're really pleased that WebOS is, is continued to be developed and, and supported throughout all of our lineup this year. So WebOS is the default platform for all of our smart TVs. I guess everyone's very excited about these new OLED TVs. When can they expect to see them in stores? Yeah, OLED's going to actually be launching relatively early this year. So we're going to have OLED from effectively in stores from the first week of April. Um, obviously, all the price points and whatnot will be announced a bit closer to the launch. But we'll have full lineups available, as I say, from first week of April. Um, the only additions in the second half will be the super large screen OLEDs, the 77 inch OLEDs, which will be, as I mentioned, maybe around about August time. So you'll hear new news of, and uh, you know, we'll update you accordingly on that one. Rob, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.